Hey guys, Tachio here and today I am going to talk about how to get your mod packs running on your PC. It's because I have been receiving tons of inquiries or questions about it. Uh, most of the people are scared of touching it. Most of the people are kind of not sure how to go on about getting uh, the mod packs like agrarian skies blood and bones or crash landings into their pc it's quite simple though um you don't need to tweak or get mods on the Mi minecraft forums uh you just it's all of the mod packs are already created by mod creator mod pack creators and most of them are found on this feed thebeast.com so the first thing that you will see is this page right here so when you come here don't be overwhelmed by it just scroll down and just when you find this just download it so that you can install the launcher um, this is separate from your vanilla minecraft it's not hosted by mojang but it is really trusted because a lot of these um, creators or the creators of Feed the Beast is primarily YouTubers like Yogcasts and Direwolf and Minecraft players. And yeah, um, there's a lot of stuff that you can browse through here. But after you have downloaded or click on this one and uh, installed it on your PC, you will get this launcher right here. First off, you do need to log in your Minecraft account and you do need a premium account. It's it kind of not is friendly with crack clients like pirated ones because these this launcher right here and the creators of it are primarily um, encouraging you guys to use or buy Minecraft to support the game and Mojang as well. So after you have installed this and it will be a separate folder from your vanilla minecraft and uh, don't be kind of um it's still in the dot app data folder along with your minecraft folder which is probably the default folder or installation folder so don't freak out on where you can find it but looking at this these are the mod packs available for you to download so all of them are already um, created and configured that they will run completely fine without you messing around or modifying it or adding more mods you don't have to do all of that just click download launch and yeah also you do need to kind of use this and log in with your premium account and yes this this launcher is trusted as well as other launchers like the Technic launcher for the attack of the B team mod pack but for this tutorial right here feed the beast launcher is what I am primarily focused on so there are a ton of mod packs created by uh, by the official FTB team there are some third-party mod, pa mod packs that are available here like from Jaded Cat she is really really good in compiling them so that you can have like a good experience with them but sometimes she she tries to make the game harder so that you can probably die in it but it's not as hardcore as Blood and Bones made by AMS because this mod pack right here if you are kind of faint of heart or don't want jump scares or um, tough monsters who will try to grieve your grief your base then maybe you you don't want to um, play this mod pack right here and there are a couple of more mod packs that are worthy of mention but crash landing is not really a public one so it's not listed here if it's not listed then you can use the pack codes provided by that mod pack creator and um, you can find them on the forums just click on this and then it will 
they will give you or provide you a private code and just type in boom for that and it will add it to this mod list right here which is right here the pack code for boom is this one there is another one I think mega shark punch I think this is the TPPI it's almost equivalent to feed the beast monster but there's a bunch of people who are trying to mash up a lot of mods and it's not really friendly for kind of old computers with um, low specs because all of the mods will create a lot of FPS drops and lag so let's add this just for you guys to see and it's still adding it right here should be somewhere um, maybe I type in the wrong code but yeah oh there you go test pack please ignore this one is still in um, in alpha stage I think it's it's not public so you can't well there's a lot of bugs still so you do need to be kind of aware of the or have forum awareness and feed the beast because if you play this and then you lose all of your progress then you can't blame them because they have disclaimers on their mod packs so going on this is um, the Grand Skies where is it it's right here Grand Skies Blood and Bones and Crash Landings are the three games that I am playing but if you want just click on them and then click launch if you haven't or, or if this is your first time playing a mod pack on feed the beast launcher after you have installed this um, it will ask if you want to download the mod pack just click on yes or accept and it will briefly show a progress bar that it is downloading into your PC so that it's going to install it and after that is done then the Minecraft launcher will kind of close down and it will launch your game most of these are 1.6.4 however most of the mods are slowly becoming where well they are yeah they are being ported to 1.7.2 and that is a good thing because most of the mods that are ported to 1.7.2 have more features on it or have easier um, modifications for the mods so let's just test this and see what happens so if we cl click on launch this will close down and soon minecraft will open up but on the console just leave it as be this is just for crash reports and stuff but you can see what is going on if it's hang or if if your launcher has frozen or something but yeah it will take some time to load because it is trying to connect to mojang servers and then auth authenticate your login details and then once that is completed then everything should be smooth sailing so let's move over to minecraft right now because I do need to kind of um, switch over and right now I am seeing the splash screen of Mojang but on the screen right on your screen you probably have a black screen so it, m it may take at least five seconds or more depending on how big that mod pack is so a grand skies is fairly big but it's 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 playable um, compared to FTB monster you do need a very good PC specs because that has a lot of mods in it um, I think it was 200 plus mods compared to a grand skies with 100 plus mods or it might it might have been lowered because of compatibility issues but yeah again mod packs are not really that scary um, I didn't download mods one by one 
it's already created for you and yeah after you see this page you can just play around and do single player there are some multiplayer servers that are available there are quite a few that are really good to mention but as of right now this is just a tutorial so if we close this one right here and then go back to our monitor it will close that game or that minecraft window and bring you back to your launcher also you can modify your um lot or your game to on this options tab you can move your folder anywhere you want and if you have problems there is a technical support for feed the beast as well as you can just reinstall it by just clicking on this force update if if it's not running as good or running properly so you can also change how much ram or memory you can give it give your minecraft to um, I, I kinda like it at 2 gigabytes because if I move it up then it's somewhat unstable for me or for my PC but if I move it down then I might experience FPS drops and whatever stuff that is but with this um, you can also use other options and for the advanced options unless the mod pack creator has some java parameters to include here um, just leave this blank so yeah I guess that's that for this I hope you guys um, understand that I did not do anything or modify or download mods stick them into one thing and do several advanced stuff that is um, on the feed the beast launcher there are other mod packs that are included here or featured on the website but most of the mod packs I am playing right now is kind of third party so yeah um, if you are familiar with Yogg's, Yogg's cast they are playing Yogg's craft mod pack and uh, there are a bunch of mod packs that are very big and very popular um, on Feed the Beast you won't see Attack of the Bee Team because that's another um, launcher which is hosted on or which is kind of created by so those the technical launcher and the Feed the Beast launcher are two separate things but they kind of operate on the same purpose um, to get mod pack creators into one thing so that they can host it and share it to you guys or to other people who want to play the same thing as those popular youtubers and so yeah <coughs> I might show you guys if you want how to download um, attack of the B team mod pack in another video but as of now feed the beast um, tutorial is here or how to kind of install it on your PC it's quite simple no need to worry about what to expect mm -hmm. on just downloading it because you don't have to go to every single mod as you can see in Agrarian Skies before there, was, there were 106 mods you don't have to download them one by one you just download the launcher it will give you the well it will show you the mod packs and just choose whatever you want to play and enjoy so again thank you for watching hope you guys learned something from here and hope you guys are eager or those who are interested in playing mod packs on feed the beast that you can play it on your pc so again till the next video cheers